What up, what up, Tay here, and let's talk some Savitar. And now that we know that, yes, another version of Barry is Savitar, let's talk about how that happened. Um, I've made three videos in the past about Barry being Savitar, and two of those discuss just that, how Barry could become Savitar and how that could happen. And the third was about how Season 3 was following the first 40 issues of the DC New 52 Flash comics and adapting their own version of the future Flash villain plot onto the show. And also Flashpoint and how they are following Flashpoint. So I would recommend checking those out, especially these two. I will link them in the description. They are both very detailed in their breakdowns of scenarios of how this could all work out, and even though I made them before we knew for sure if Barry was Savitar, I still, still think there is a lot in them that you guys would dig. Anyway, back to Savitar and The Flash. So in my first Barry is Savitar video that I made right after episode 15, I explored the idea that the time remnant from the end of season 2 could become Savitar, and that when he ran around the Magnetar, he didn't actually die but ran into the Speed Force. And if that is the case, it might explain how the future Savitar version of Barry got the Freddy Krueger two-faced burns on his face. Um, but it does leave some holes as well. So another time remnant possibility that I think could be very likely could have been hinted at in episode 19 when Barry goes to the future. And when he's there and him and past Barry are having their heated discussion in Star Labs, future Barry is saying he tried everything to stop Savitar and he says he even made time remnants, plural. And then he says, quote, but he's going to kill them all mostly, referring to Savitar killing all of the time remnants. But he, then he adds the mostly at the end. Then last night in episode 20, when Barry is realizing who Savitar is, the audio with all of the hints is dubbed over that scene and you can hear that line where the future 2024 version of Barry said that line about the time remnants again. And I think that one of those time remnants could have lived and could have become Savitar. Otherwise, why would the showrunners add the word mostly to the script, and why would they then repeat that line along with all of the other lines of dialogue and foreshadowing from the past episodes when Barry is putting it all together in his head? And that would work with Savitar knowing what's happened up to this point in all of their lives because the current version of Barry hasn't made him yet, and now that Barry knows who Savitar is, he probably won't make any time remnants. But the future version of Barry did, and now that Barry knows who Savitar is, he has changed the future timeline because future Barry never found out who Savitar was. So now those are two separate timelines. So Savitar could still be a time remnant from that timeline that the future 2024 version of Barry made when he was trying to defeat Savitar. Man, sorry, that's a mouthful of tongue twisting and mind, you know, confusing stuff. So hopefully you followed me. And now as far as the reaction to Barry being Savitar, um, it seems from what I've seen, most people seem to like this. Um, of course, there are those that don't. I personally like it, and I think it totally works with the theme of Flashpoint and Season 3, which is time and consequences, and Barry dealing with the ramifications of time travel and making emotional and impulsive decisions. Uh, I've also seen people online say this is a TV show type plot twist or storyline and they wouldn't have done this in the comics. Well, they've already done this in the comics. They did it in the Out of Time comic storyline that is better known as the Future Flash story. But one of the big draws of the TV show is the mystery in piecing together the clues and puzzle pieces. So the, the show was adapting Flashpoint into the early part of Season 3, and then the Future Flash story into the second half of Season 3. But if they would have made the Future Flash look the way he did in the comics on the show, people would have figured it out pretty much immediately. So what it seems they've done is they've combined that future Flash from the comics with Savitar, uh, a villain who in the comics had a major villain story arc really only in one series, as opposed to a villain like Reverse Flash, who was a part of a ton of big story arcs in the comics. So yeah, anyway, let me know what you guys think. 
Um, and like I said, for some longer, more detailed clues into how Barry could have become Savitar, check out these two videos. Like I said, I made them, they, these were theory videos at the time, because I didn't know for sure, but I thought that Barry was going to be Savitar, but there's still some good clues and information in there that could help you figure out what you believe is going to happen. And then please like and subscribe. I will be back soon with more Flash videos, more Marvel videos and MCU videos, and more comic book nerdiness. So check back soon, and thank you for watching. And subscribe. Don't forget that.